Good morning, I'm Doreen Peterson, President of the American College of Healthcare Sciences and I'm here this morning in uh, a rather overcast uh, Portland day but still quite warm and uh, we're here at the Botanical Teaching Garden uh, of the college and uh, we are going to be distilling rosemary. Uh, I'm particularly fond of rosemary, it's one of my favourite botanicals. This is Rosmarinus officinalis uh, and I have actually never distilled rosemary so it's going to be a very interesting experiment for me. It has some interesting constituents, one of them being um, an ester called uh, Borneo acetate which uh, comes across in distillation at a higher percentage when we strip the leaves from the stem. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be harvesting the rosemary and actually preparing it for the still by uh, stripping the, um, the small leaflets, particularly off the woody stems. I believe a lot of the camphor, which is the ketone in rosemary, is uh, within the the woody stem itself, so it would change the constituent profile if we put the stem and st stems into the still as well. So we're going to start cutting this uh, rather lovely rosemary, uh, which did extremely well uh, to survive our very severe winter, which um, this last winter in 2008 was extremely severe here in Portland. This rosemary was completely covered in snow. Uh, usually I don't cut the herbs back in the garden until early spring, just so they uh, are protected from the cold by, you know, by the, by the leaves and the, and the stems. Uh, so I think that helped, but we did certainly lose some things. We lost the uh, immortelle, the helichrysum. We lost the New Zealand flax and uh, some other uh, pieces in the garden which we're slowly replacing. But the rosemary survived very well and considering it's a Mediterranean plant, I was particularly excited by that. So when we start to cut a plant for essential oil production, we also want to think about where the essential oil glands are in the plant. And we, d we want to ensure that we don't damage those glands before we get the material to the still. So with rosemary, the glands are uh, along the um, underside of the leaf, so we're not going to be damaging the plant a lot and bruising it a lot, um, although we will lose some material as we strip the leaf from the stem. It's a really good day actually to harvest, it's not too hot, the sun is not uh, really bright. Uh, and it's not damp. These are all good things for harvesting and it's about 10 o'clock in the morning so it's a perfect time to harvest. Of course with aromatic plants that contain essential oils, uh, as soon as we start to harvest them the essential oils, the essential oil molecules can start to uh, volatile, volatilize, in other words evaporate from the plant itself. So I'm just cutting um, you know, fairly large pieces uh, with the intention of also pruning this uh, rosemary. Uh, as you can see, it's growing over the um, parking area and uh, so I'm wanting to cut it back into a compact bush that will uh, develop further, grow further and keep a good shape. So whenever you're harvesting, for essential oils or for medicinal herb production uh, if you're drying you know always do so thinking about the plant thinking about what uh, constituents you're wanting to select from the plant of course it's important to know which part of the plant contains the constituents so for example if we were distilling valerian this morning we would be digging the root, not cutting the leaf. So it's very important to get to know your plant well before you start the medicine making process. 
So as you can see this uh, does take some time. Of course it's a wonderful task because as I'm cutting the rosemary I'm also inhaling the wonderful aromatics that are emitting from this plant already. And rosemary is probably best known for its well, rosemary from, for rem remembrance is, uh, is the saying most people do remember. And it is uh, known to be quite effective for enhancing memory. And uh, it's also excellent for the hair, um, particularly dark hair. It um, can give hair shine and, and uh, assist with color. Uh, retaining color and dark hair. So I'm excited to be making some uh, hydrosol this morning, of course, which is a byproduct of our distillation product, distillation um, process. So I shouldn't say byproduct, I should say another product, because I don't believe hydrosols are byproducts. I think they're an extra product that we're discovering. Uh, can be extremely useful and very therapeutically effective. So I'm excited to be making some Hydrolat for uh, hair wash, which is uh, a nice added bonus. Rosemary oil is also very effective as an analgesic and it's also, as I mentioned, because of the borneol acetate which is a component called an ester. It's an anti-inflammatory. So it's frequently used in analgesic rubs. If we have, uh, for example, a sport, sports injury or uh, a uh, rheumatic or arthritic condition, it's very warming. It's known as a ruby facient. The therapeutic action of ruby facient will bring blood to an area and assist with bringing nutrients and uh, materials, cells to, uh, to the area, blood to the area, and also take uh, congestion, lactic acid and uh, other materials from the area. So it really helps to stimulate healing uh, wherever that ruby facient action occurs. It's particularly effective blended with other analgesics like peppermint and uh, black pepper that makes a very effective uh, analgesic grub. In my garden here at the uh, American College of Healthcare Sciences Botanical Teaching Garden and I'm going to carefully lift it off the rosemary and put it over here onto the hops because in fact uh, even though this looks a wonderful healthy hop plant and hop as you know is a soporific very good for sleep as well of course as having the added bonus of brewing beer from the hops from the strobiles of the hops uh, this hop has actually got quite a lot of aphids on it and um, ladybugs are a natural predator of aphids the other interesting thing beside this rosemary is this wonderful lush licorice plant that uh, I'm hoping once I trim back the rosemary the uh, licorice will get a little more uh, light and life. Mm-hmm. <laughs>